hello guys hey, welcome back thanks for clicking so these guys are going to be discussing the reason why some muslims or most muslims don't go into relationship or dating before marriage so why is it so let's check it out <laughs> really come on <laughs> in the disbelievers they have side things they have a work wife they have the, the chick she, the, he texts, uh, uh -huh. they have the actual wife, they have the, the girlfriend, uh -huh. the, the one he probably hires, there's so many. Yeah. And in Islam we have wives, now a lot of people think that having multiple wives is the same as having multiple girlfriends. Mm. Yeah. No, no. There's, there's a lot of there's a differences difference. between the two, huge stuff like responsibility. Wife what are some of these differences? Like people think that they're actually the same. Have multiple wives there's a later. huge difference, a big, big difference. And Marriage is about building bond, a family. Even if you don't have children, bond. people think it's about having children. No, it's about building a family, a unit, a unit, unit that is the building block of the ummah. Okay, and that comes with the blessings of Allah, with the barakah, with the responsibilities, the gender roles. There's a manual of operation, standard operating procedures. Yeah, it might sound dry, but it is what it mm. is. And that those SOPs mm -hmm. help is. things move forward, help things work well, um, help the ummah to grow. And when you don't do it like that, then you don't have that. It's the opposite effect. So, yeah, the differences are huge. Commitment-wise, people say, I'm committed, but I'm not married. Yeah, but it's not the same. You're committed in front of Allah first and foremost before in front of that person. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing in Islam, right? It's it's in front of Allah because you can. The person might feel like you're the most committed to them, but you're cheating on them. Mm -hmm. But when you know that Allah is watching, you're committed to Allah first. You can't, man. Even if that person's not there, no one's seeing you. You're traveling. You're doing whatever. You're not going to do that because of what? Because the person's not there, or because you know it's because you're committed to Allah. Mm -hmm. You know what 100%, I mean? 100%. <laughs> so that's kind of, you know, I mean, we can talk a lot about that, but that's the main thing. It's mm. always Allah comes first for a Muslim. So marriage is for the sake of Allah. Family is for the sake of Allah. Provision is for the sake of Allah. Stability is for the sake of Allah. Love is for the sake of Allah. Everything is for the sake of Allah. Oh, people are like, why, why, why? Everything for, because He is the one who is the author of love, who is the author of safety, who is the author of provision, who is the author of all these mm. things. Mm. So you have to. And, and guys, anyone watching this, like the reason we, we push Islam in Nikah is it's kind of difficult to measure kuffar love, disbelievers, what they do. Tough. Because if someone says, and I, we, I was talking about the, uh, with you about this a month ago um, on the phone, like if somebody in, in like, Kofar, non-Muslims, they say, oh, I love you, baby, don't worry, I love mm. you. How do you measure that, bro? But a nikah, in a way, really is a contract, in a way. It's measurable. There's things, there's responsibility. Yes, there's rights, but there's duties, there's responsibilities. It's not just, oh, I love you, babe, so please believe me, and we can be together and, you know, live in this fairy tale. No, there's responsibilities. I can track if you're doing your end of the bargain. That's it. Right? That's it. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, Akhi, with that being said, uh, smash that like button, guys. Mm. More episodes in person, inshallah. Cool. Boom. Wow, that was very, very short. Very, very short. I was, expecting, I was expecting them to explain more. One thing that I found very strange about the whole conversation was when they said people always think having multiple girlfriends is the same as having multiple wives so are you not saying that muslims don't have they don't you know double dates where well, they don't have multiple girlfriends i know quran accepts it but why is that majority of muslims mostly married more than one wife i, I can say just let's say two percent of muslim men will will marry maybe one wife but majority of them will marry more than one wife and why is it so if multiple girlfriends is not halal, why is that you can't, what can do without multiple wives? And, you know, he said the main reason of marriage is to create a bond, to create unity, not only for children. And, you know, marriage is, is for God and, you know, but I was expecting them to give us more reasons why Muslims, they don't, they, I think the reason why they don't date is because they are too inclined with their religion. They are too yeah they, they are too like how will i put it they are so used to their religion in which they don't have time for for social life 
I think that's the reason why most Muslims don't date before they marry or they don't go into relationship because they are always too busy with you know religious oh no they are so religious due to the fact that they they don't really socialize they don't really you know involve themselves in social things like, okay i go to school i come back you know i pray five times daily you know anytime i'm going out you know when my job where is red mm -hmm, you know you hardly go out unless you want to go and buy something you know all those kind of thing so there's no way you can get somebody to date even though you get somebody to ask you out it will look strange to you because you'll be wondering how do i want to even start this this life how do i want to go about it if i date this man what will happen to me how do they even date you know that kind of thing i think that's the reason why most of them don't date before they marry but if you don't date the person and you marry the person how do you cope like how do you cope because i know some people can be in a relationship for like one month or less and they marry and their home will be blessed and they'll be together for a long time but there's nobody that would date within one month or so and will marry and they will not have series of fights because there are a lot of things you don't know about your partner because if you don't get to know your partner you don't know about his likes his dislike you know his way of life you'll be confused you will not even know what to do you guys will fight a lot but that was a beautiful and short short and beautiful conversation thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye